learning how to save your resources is very easy. Once you find a resource that you are enjoying and want to make sure that you save and use it in your classroom, you do have the ability to select these. You can, you can select as many as you would like. You could select them all if you choose, or you could select individual resources. At this time, I'm going to also look in teacher tools to see if there are other resources that I'd like to add. And I can click on the Assign Resources tab, which is going to bring in up my student tools and my teacher tools and give me the option to create folders. I've chosen some very different resources, so you might want to create multiple folders, and you do have the ability to do that in this section. As we enhance the teacher resource link, one future enhancement will be a statewide learning management system. Within this learning management system will be the ability for teachers to assign these resources saved from the teacher resource link and push them to a student's login or desktop to be able to access those resources and complete in a blended learning or a brick and mortar type environment. The one thing that that's going to stress is the naming of folders. Please use your best professional judgment when naming a folder and providing a description for these folders as eventually they could become public information. And a student would have the ability or a parent would have the ability to see these folder names in the LMS if these have been assigned to students. So creating folders based on the subject matter or standards would definitely be a better choice than creating them based on student names or generic profiles of student behavioral types. For this case I've chosen drama terms and digital citizenship so I'm going to enter drama. Maybe I complete a drama unit during the year. I'm going to briefly give it a description so in this goal I'm going to look for terms and lesson plans for understanding drama so this might be a teacher folder that I come back to I'm going to go ahead and add this folder and you'll notice it's presented down here under folder names I've also picked rules of digital etiquette and digital citizenship and I want to put them in their own folder for digital citizenship. If you teach multiple subjects it might be a good idea to include uh, the subject matter or your class uh, number if you have those. Um, your folders will have the ability to move with you so uh, designing them generic things for a one year might not limit might limit yourself to having very narrowed folders so you want to keep them generic but as descriptive as possible within in here so this might be my where I go in my English language arts class and teach about digital citizenship and these are modules oops I'm going to add these, that name of the folder, and at this time I need to choose where these go. You'll notice these are currently all selected, so if I were to choose a folder at this time, all three of those resources would go into a folder. I'm going to uncheck these and just click on the digital citizenship and add digital citizenship here and click save. And my resources have been saved. I can go back in to assign resources and you'll notice my same resources. They're still checked and I'm going to uncheck and uncheck a teacher tools, select the drama and place it in the drama folder and click save here as well. I do get a confirmation that my resource has been assigned successfully. In the my folders tab, if you were to click and search for resources, you'll notice I still have these three criteria loaded. So my folders all have, my folders show these, folders have, will present these three resources.